Imagine, Imagine you, you fill a bathtub with, with cold, cold water, water, then add hot water at one end. end. You, will you will not have warm water, water until, until it is mixed. mixed. Put your, Put your hand, hand in the hot water, water and push, push it toward, toward the cold, cold end, end of the tub. You can, you can feel, feel the movement and the difference in water temperature. You created a small current in your bathtub, bathtub by, causing by causing the water to move from, from one place to another. another. Much, Much larger, larger currents, currents are at work in our oceans, oceans circulating, circulating water around the world. The world. These, These ocean, ocean currents, which, which are massive currents that are, that are influenced by a variety of different forces, forces that, act that act to propel the water both on the surface and in deep, deep ocean, ocean waters. waters. This, this movement has a significant effect on the Earth's weather. weather. For, example, For example, the Gulf Stream, Stream current carries warm water toward northern Europe. Europe. Due to, Due to this, coastal, coastal countries in northern Europe have a milder, milder winter, winter than, than coastal areas in the northeast United States, States that are much farther south. south. Currents, currents found, found in the upper, upper 1,300 feet of the ocean are called, are called surface, surface currents. currents. Let's, Let's examine some of the forces that determine the direction of these currents. Gravity. gravity. The, surface the surface of the ocean, ocean is not even. even. Due, to Due to this, gravity, gravity has an impact on the flow of water in the ocean. The Earth's gravity pulls at water, causing it to flow downward from higher surface levels. You will notice, notice the impact of gravity, as it, as it is mentioned alongside various other, other forces throughout this lesson. lesson. Wind. Wind. Wind, Wind is the driving, driving force behind, behind our ocean's surface, surface currents. currents. In, other In other words, words most surface, surface currents are caused by wind, which has, which has the greatest impact on these currents. currents. As, the As the wind blows, blows over the water's surface, surface, it produces, it produces friction. friction. This, this friction, friction pushes, pushes the water along and forms, and forms a current, current moving, moving in the same direction the wind is blowing. blowing. The current, the current will continue in the direction of the wind until other factors, such as, such as nearing a landmass or colliding with another ocean current, current cause, cause the water to build up and move in different ways. Coriolis, Coriolis effect. The spinning, the spinning of the earth deflects movement. movement. This, this is called the Coriolis effect. We usually, we usually see, see no impact from the spinning, spinning of the earth, but we, but we do notice its effect on surface, surface currents, currents because, because they are large and move over long distances. The Coriolis, Coriolis effect, effect comes, comes into play when water being, being pushed, pushed by the wind piles up into mounds. mounds. As, As gravity, gravity pulls, pulls the water down the slope, the slope of the mound, the Coriolis, the Coriolis effect forms a current, current that, that creates spiral patterns, patterns called, called gyres, gyres that help, that help push, push the current forward. forward. These, These gyres, gyres move clockwise, clockwise in the northern hemisphere and counterclockwise in the southern hemisphere. Continental, continental deflection. We briefly, we briefly mentioned earlier, earlier that nearing a landmass is one factor, factor that causes water to build up and change direction. direction. When, when water, water building up or changing direction occurs near a very large landmass land or continent, it is, it is called continental deflection. Since, Since the Earth is not completely covered in water, continental deflection plays a large role in the overall direction of surface currents. The water, the water can't, can't travel over or through, through the continent, so it is forced, forced to move around, around it. When you, when you drop, drop about 1,300 feet below the surface, deep, deep water, water currents move the ocean's water. water. These, These currents move much slower, and the forces, and the forces that drive deep water currents differ from the forces that drive surface, surface currents. currents. These currents are caused by density differences that exist due to the water's temperature and the amount of salt in the water. This is, this is called thermohaline circulation, thermo referring to temperature and haline referring to salt. Cold, cold water holds more salt, more salt than warm, warm water. The salt, the salt content, content makes, makes it more dense or heavier, or heavier than, than the warm water. water. Gravity, Gravity now comes into play as the warmer, warmer lighter water, water rises and, and colder, heavier, heavier water sinks. sinks. It sounds, it sounds simple, simple, but there, but there is, is a bit more to it. To it. As, the as the warm water rises, cold water, cold water is, is pulled up to fill, fill in the space left behind. The opposite, the opposite is also true. When cold, when cold water sinks, warm water is pulled down to fill in the space left behind. Thermohaline Thermo circulation is also known as, as the, the global conveyor, conveyor belt because, because this process acts to move water throughout the entire ocean, ocean distributing nutrients as well as, well as regulating, regulating temperature and salinity. And salinity. Water, water current is the, is the movement, movement of water from one place to another. To another. Ocean currents are massive currents that are influenced by a variety of different forces that act to propel the water both on the surface and in deep ocean waters. Surface currents are found in the upper 1,300 feet of the ocean. Most ocean currents are caused by wind pushing the water along. Other factors then come into play and direct the flow of surface currents. 
continental deflection can cause redirection of water as it builds up to a higher level as it nears land and is forced to change course. Gravity then pulls the water downward, altering the direction in which the current flows. Since there, Since there is so much water involved and it is moving for a large distance, the rotation, the rotation of the Earth even has an impact because of the deflection caused by it, which is called the Coriolis effect. When gravity, when gravity pulls, pulls water downward, downward the Coriolis, Coriolis effect, effect creates spiral patterns that help push, push the current, current along, which are, which are called gyres. Deep, deep water currents move, move the ocean water below 1,300 feet. Thermal healing circulation is caused by differences in water temperature and salt content, and the movement that is produced by these differences. As the heavy, colder water sinks and warmer, less dense water rises, water is moved throughout the entire ocean. This has given these deep water currents the nickname Global Conveyor Belt, because this process acts to move water throughout the entire ocean, distributing nutrients as well as regulating temperature and salinity.